Hi. Hello, Sydney. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Now that I see you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. So there's going to be another video. I know I never came back for the other video. Um, it's okay. And he finished, I think. He kept on recording, so uh, good thing I didn't get in trouble for that. But you know, um, did you learn anything from that video? Oh yeah. Well, they talked about. I mean, they talked about the pay schedule and like moving up in the company. So it's actually pretty fun. Awesome, awesome. And then we ended up right after with phone training. I was able to sit down with Christina, and I got uh, three people to schedule with her for this with us for this week. Really? Yeah, it was a lot okay. of fun. I see you <laughs> making. Oh, so you're making calls then? Uh, I yeah, I made. A, I was calling people last night, so I was able to get three people to sit down. It was it was a lot of fun actually. That's awesome. How easy was it? Say again. How is it, how easy was it? Sorry. Well, for me, honestly, it was pretty easy. Uh, I come from a different like. Like I would talk to people all the time at my old job. So like calling people on the phone and talking to people and making a schedule with them. I, I'm really comfortable with that. So it wasn't a problem. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. So you had some experience then. Yeah. At least with that. Now, when it comes to sitting with people, I don't know. That might be a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it. Don't worry. You're going to be loving it when you're sitting with a lot of people. I d I'm really excited for it though. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because I mean, see, that's something special from you because a lot of people start getting scared and then there's no reason to be scared. I mean, you you see like right. random people everywhere. And it does nothing but like prevent you from growing. Exactly. Give me one second. Let me remember my password again. So have you been to like any sits with Christina? Uh, not yet. I will be doing that tonight though. I'll get to watch her do it all that, do all that tonight. Okay. Okay. That's lit. Let me see. I basically watched the e-app video this morning and last night, like a bit last night, a bit this morning. So I can kind of be familiar with what the e-app looks like before we sit down and stuff too. How, com how complicated did you see it? <laughs> Honestly, it really didn't. Um, with me, with memorizing, like I have the whole script memorized. So oh, with okay. the- already? Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I still have like, when it comes to giving options and like the closing side of it, still not quite comfortable with that yet. But like, as far as the script itself, I feel super comfortable just kind of rattling it off. Oh, wait, so, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it took me a little while to remember the freaking script. Because now that we're doing Zoom, I had to have that like right behind my laptop. And I was just reading it right behind it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like I was giving them a hug too. So it was, it was a little rough, but. Well, I, I had to, so I was in the process of moving also while getting hired. So I actually, I got a, an extra week with the script before we brought me in. So I kind of thank that extra week for why I memorized it. No, no, no. You're probably not giving yourself too much credit. <laughs> it took me, it took me like probably like two months to like remember the damn script. So Really? Yeah, yeah, I still yeah, feel yeah. like I'll get, like, I just. I, you just fake it till you make it. Just fake the confidence until you actually have it. Oh, I try to fake it. <laughs> <laughs> Not working out that much, but yeah, that, I'm glad that that's actually working out for you because it looks like you're actually going to make it. You're going to make really good money here. I hope so. I really feel like, I don't know. I'm just ready for the grind. I'm ready to kind of bust my butt and get to business. Oh, hey, that's a spirit. <laughs> awesome. All right, Sydney. So I don't waste your time here. I'm just gonna end up playing this um the video. This next video is with Mr. Kunash, Casey Kunash. So he's actually an RGA. So he's like right under Tommy Vina. And he's just gonna go over uh let me see what the video is real quick.
Oh man, I, I forgot. It doesn't even have the title. <laughs> but wait, I think I have it. Um, he'll explain what it is. Okay. But this one is only two hours instead of three hours. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, do you do you want me to um? Did you have to take breaks yesterday? Okay. So I'm asking, did you have to take breaks yesterday? I, I'm having a hard time hearing that last part. What'd you say? My bad. Can you hear me better? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, did you have to take any break yesterday? Yeah, there was a 15, well, 15, 20 minute break there. So I kind of just twiddled my thumbs until they got back. Oh, uh, okay. Awesome. So I'm not sure if they have breaks on this one because it is less, but I mean, I'll just be back like in two hours. I'll, I'll next, this time I'm at, I'm actually gonna put a timer on my phone. So <laughs> no worries. All right. Awesome. Well, if you got any questions, I mean, you can. You wanna you wanna take down my number if you need anything or. Yeah, sure. Awesome. So it's. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Six ten. Six ten. Yep. Five eight seven. Five eight seven. Nine four four two. Nine four four two. Yep. And my name is Edgar. Edgar, Edgar? Allen Poe. Yep. Heck yeah. <laughs> awesome. I just received your text. Okay, awesome. Well, yeah. I can also just send you a message too when it finishes up. Yeah, definitely. That will hurt. I um, mean, help. But hopefully, I don't come back and you're sleeping on that chair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, nah, it's some exciting stuff that you'll learn. But I am right, excited. Let me know. Awesome. Let me know if you can see the screen here. Give me one second. All right. Can you see it? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it was super zoomed in for a second, but it's good now. Okay. Here. Let me... Awesome. Let me just mute myself so you don't get no distractions. All right, just text me if you need anything, all right? Okay, too easy. Awesome. Good information for everybody here today. We'll go over two sections here today. We're gonna break down, uh, obviously some great tips, you know, Zoom tips, some, some other tips. We're gonna recap uh, what happened yesterday for everybody. And then we're gonna get into how we're gonna break, uh, maximize the opportunity and break your week, week into a 40 hour week, what some people do, or what's great about this opportunity is, you know, we have unlimited overtime to where we get to set up our own schedule, write your own paycheck, you know, maximize opportunity unlimited. Now to, to recap, you know, my name is Casey Kunash. You know, once again, I have 12 years with this company, working with some of the top agencies in, in our international company, was able to open five offices, able to have you know, help a lot of people, able to learn a lot with this company, able to earn residual income, which is my favorite part about the opportunity. But to recap, you know, talking to, you know, our training class, we have Bobby Adolfo, you know, to recap day one, you know, just talking to you guys, what stuck out to you from day one with Mr. Vina? To recap, what would Mr. Vini go over with you guys yesterday? Um, mostly it was it was about how the, the company was structured as far as, as, as moving people up um, and, and getting promotions so that you can capitalize on, on, on making residual income at a faster rate, basically. The, you know, the promotion structure, you know, which is amazing, you know, our training structure that allows us to have the growth because I believe hands down, I'm a part of it. We do have some of the best training hands down with our classroom training, which is kind of like today, which is kind of like the syllabus type part of it and going over these, but the hands-on training, which most people, myself included, and probably some, some of you as well, uh, probably learn more hands-on in front, you know, with clients, watching some, watching a top producer, like probably your field trainer or your supervisor, get the job done at a high level. Because if you're winning in our agency, it's typically the case in most of the agencies that we've worked with within this company. If you're, if you're at top in this agency, you're gonna be top in the Spotlight Magazine 
with an international company still you know, earning. And what's great about uh, getting recognized in the monthly Spotlight magazine is not, not just the recognition of having your picture in a magazine come into your, into your mail, but it's also your top in the international, in the world, in your position. And when you're top 20 or 50 at your position, whether it's sports, whether it's business, you're gonna come with uh, high income. So that's what's nice about competing in this company to where you're competing for your family and you're able to help more people that way. And like, like Bobby what you know, you know, went over is that when you're in a leadership position and you have a team of say three, five, 10, 12, 20 individuals, you're able to help a lot more people that way. So that's what's great about the promotion structure and you know, the, um, <clears throat> you know, the personal recruit bonus, you guys capitalize on that when you're brand new is something that that's huge getting that $750, uh, you know, coming through for anyone in the first, in your first 90 days, definitely take advantage of that. Uh, the long term, the, you know, the, you know, residual opportunity is hands down the best to be able to make money while you sleep and uh, help more and more people, you know, with that. So what stuck out to, to, to you yesterday, Adolfo? Well, yeah, it's the same thing as Bobby said, those companies start sharing more, more, more than anything about uh, residual income for like this. To be able to help people and month in, month out, you think of, uh, you think of if you're, you're your favorite musician, whether it was Michael Jackson, I think you said yours was, no, I'm kidding. You know, Michael Jackson's been passed away for a while, but his estate, someone's still earning, he's still playing on Pandora and maybe some other, uh, a lot of other stations. Um, he recorded that track one time years ago, whether it was, you know, Billy Jean or, you know, whatever your, your, your favorite song was, every time that plays, someone's getting paid over and over and over and over again. And <clears throat> I never had the best singing voice. And I, I don't know if, if you do, but something to be able to, this is my opportunity to get residual income rather than making a track. Uh, exactly. So, exactly. But we're gonna break it down for, for you guys into the into the work week to where you you're working for your family for your name on your back. You're we're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. To where you don't have the overhead, you don't have to um, come up with the game. Everything is already figured out. We have the systems and procedures that are really gonna help you put the pressure on this system that's already figured out, rather than on yourself, basically. So number one. We're going to break the week down for everybody um, in, the, in the four tips. But first of all, you know, we'll go with some basic Zoom tips for everybody. Um, you know, you, know you, you, you can't have a Zoom background. There's American income, there's company backgrounds, or having something, whether it's a you know, wall or, or, or dark, you don't want pretty much to have your closet open in the back or people, a bunch of traffic to where the client may be distracted or you know get in a situation to where i know there's preset ones in there you can have the golden gate bridge or we i know some people have the company logo american income in the back which talk to your your upline manager about that your field trainer um they can get you the company logo if you want that what's great we can work from anywhere you know 12 years in this business we had to drive all over all over and gas and traffic a lot of the cities that had able to work in traffic bottlenecks to where you have to go downtown you might sit in an hour of traffic every single time so now we're able to go all over the state anywhere multiple states and grow this team so very exciting um you know this morning you have to do number one in this training process you have to be able to get the homework done yourself as well as with your field trainer well as with this training you know we're going to be able to take you know take you so far but it's also that you know it's the practice time it's you know it's the morning time it's um saying it in the mirror maybe maybe it's saying it out loud um you're putting yourself on film you know the president of the company recommended that you put yourself on film every single day especially in your first two weeks of training because i'm not going to watch it <clears throat> the first day with you it's not going to be the greatest film mine was terrible the first day i can remember i was you know trying to think of the script so hard every single word 
that I was basically almost like a robot to where we didn't have the laptop. We didn't have the E app. We didn't have the impact app for everything. All we had, we had a rate book. We had a freedom of choice certificate and a presentation binder where we had pictures that we, we would show the client. So now having everything, uh, the technology and having the needs analysis survey and having the impact to where all of our people are organized. We had to actually dial the numbers before. I, I feel like your parents, you know, we walk to school both ways in the snow uphill or something like that. You guys get that story? But, you know, we're definitely um, blessed to have the technology and I'll talk about the Calendly and the, um, you know, the different resources that we use <clears throat> that makes our lives a lot easier sends the reminders, the phone calls, the emails, sets up the Zoom integrated right to the Calendly so that you don't have to create the email and send the email and it's all done for you with reminders, everything set up. So we'll kind of run through that. And if you have any questions, please stop me. But it's definitely numbers game and we'll get into that. And I'm gonna get up on here in a bit, um, the, you know, the numbers to where the great thing about this opportunity, we can work backwards. We'll be able, I'm going to tell you today exactly what it takes. <clears throat> and typically most people will set, how many phone calls, I'll ask you the question, Bobby or Adolfo or Mason, do uh, you think you're going to be able to make in one hour? I know you guys were here, it's day two, you were here last night, you listened to some phone calls in the past. How many phone calls do you think you could make in, in an hour? How many do you think? Five. How many of you guys think? I'd say 10. I, I would say 25 or 30 if you're not getting any answers. If you're just flying through calls, you could probably get 25 to 30 done. Right. And that there are some variables. You're absolutely right. But yeah, definitely, if, if you all could be right. Because if you talk to every person answers and they have some questions, and you're building some foam rapport. You know, I had a trainee a couple of weeks back. She talked to a client. I don't recommend it, but you know, phone rapport is great for 20 minutes. That's probably not recommended. She was going on and on and on. And the lady was talking questions, but some people have the gift of gab and that can be good. And it can, you can be too friendly to where you overstep being a professional. And that can happen to where they think you're the, your best friend now. And now they may not want to uh, make quite, uh, such, such a decision to protect their family, rather they would with the professionals. That, that makes sense. So um, you, can, you can overstep that. It's a fine line in a lot of the areas in, in our industry and in business and life. A lot of this will transfer over from other areas, you know, you know which is cool. So, so you're exactly right, 20 to 30. And um, so 20 to 30 calls per hour. So how many calls do you think that it's gonna to take to get one appointment set? About the same, right? One hour, so we can take the average and call that 25, you could call it 20 for math purposes, but you know, basically if you're doing about 20, you're going to, you're going to be doing a great job. 30, uh, 20 to 30, you're, you're, you're doing average. Some people, when we're, when we talk about adding referrals in sponsored members, that's how you're going to improve all these numbers. You're improving your probability of getting a sale and you're working smarter, not quite as hard. And sometimes, you know, we, we ask during training, and we'll break the hours down um, and you'll really understand how you're able to work smarter. Um, Cause we, we guess, would you rather call for two hours and set your whole schedule? Or would you rather call for 22 hours and set up your whole schedule? Yeah. <laughs> Make the same amount of, yeah, two hours sounds great to where you're able to help more people. You're, you're maximizing your time. You're working smarter because they have more of an established idea and they're more um, of why you're going over and you just did business with their best friend, their brother, their cousin, their mother, their son, their family member, and you have a reason for being there. 
So that's going to that's gonna be 66% opposed to typical and average. We go over it's one out of three, 33% for a union leader or a response card statistically. Uh, we tend to be an above average team, an above average agency to where we're looking 45 to 55. Some of our top closers, maybe 75 to 85% closers, um, you know, week in, week out when you're talking about a top producer, you know, so but to, to be average, we'll talk 33% and that's just the numbers. But if we look at their data a few months back, it was 45% looking at almost 10,000 agents in the international company. So you know, it's it's definitely going to be um, something that's definitely attainable if you, you can do a average average number. So, um, twenty five calls will equal one set. So we'll call it twenty to twenty five. We'll call it forty calls equals one sit down, one presentation. Okay. And then we'll go 400 calls is going to equal 10 sits, 10 presentations, 10 sit downs. And it's going to take about 20 presentations, 20 appointments booked for that week to get you guaranteed 10 presentations. Okay, so that's why it's looking about, you know, 400 calls minimum so our top people are making four six even eight hundred to a thousand calls in one week period they're just putting in the extra work that's not necessarily because what what gets these calls down you could have a top producer that's made 100 200 300 calls in an entire week because they're spending their schedules booked because they're collecting they're collecting more referrals contingent beneficiaries um, rolling referrals is what we'll talk about uh, having that client do their homework assignment, which we'll do, we'll go over all that stuff in the second part when we, when we, when we touch on some referrals. But you'll learn about referrals uh, on Thursday as well of, of training and a lot more detail how to collect them throughout the presentations. And a lot of it, what we touched on with Bobby today was, um, you know, the verbiage on your first day or day two, one day one or day two of training here. How do you typically ask them? You may ask them, do you potentially maybe possibly know anybody with kids or you want to sponsor? No, it's number one, you said your brother had kids. You suggest the first one. You almost assume uh, the first referral that we're getting him out to his brother. And then who is next? You know, asking the verbiage, who is next? Um, who do you want to sponsor first rather than do you potentially know anybody, right? So that, that's everybody that happens. That's why we do this every single day in this portion of training. It usually takes a couple things to get your, to get your mindset to where you're asking the verbiage properly. So any questions on, on this stuff, the calls? You can shock the system. You know, it's impossible to add, to do the right thing and keep plugging away at this and get the wrong result. It's impossible. You know, you can't, you can try to prove this stuff wrong because that's kind of like um, when I started training 12 years ago, it was 30 presentations booked for that entire week. We'll give you 15 presentations. If you're average, which will be five enrollments based off of just collecting one $67 a month program. And we always ask, you know, how many bills, if we're talking about just one average sale, one average enrollment, how many bills do you think that most people have that are more than $67 a month? Couple. Pretty much a lot of them, most of them, maybe a couple or less, Netflix or, you know, one or two, maybe a cheap gym membership um, would be less than $67. Most are over, over that. So if we're talking gym memberships to bills or anything, and obviously none of those bills are more important than the, their wife, their kids, their families. Cause we always ask them, you know, what's the most important thing in your life? What do you think they're going to say? Their family. their family. And, you know, can't put a price tag 
on those loved ones, but there is that small price for protecting them. And we're talking about just one average enrollment. So at 67, at five enrollments at just $67 a month, something that most people uh, can, can definitely swing no matter what, that's gonna be 4,000 ALP. So we cut that number in half. Typically that's just gonna be about your paycheck, $2,000. And on average, we want to have a minimum in 15 presentations. How many referrals should we minimum collect out of each home? Ten. Ten is a great number. That's what we say in the script. That's great. So if, if we're asking for 10, some people may give you 12. Some people might give you a five or seven or Maybe like we went over, there's a couple things we can add into the presentation and spice it up a bit, like some hot sauce on your presentation. That would be, hey, there was actually a contest this month. If I actually break the record of sponsors today and get 27 contacts, I can actually win this flat screen TV that has a picture frame around it. And I get a chance at it or something silly like that. Or you could just say the record. You could just say, hey, you can beat the record 17. Think you can do that for the community to save a child's life, whether it be with the ID kits, everyone needs a will, everyone likes to save money. And, you know, we're adding these things into the presentation beforehand, like we went over today um, to add in, you know, a lot of people's kids, right? Every, you know, everybody likes to save money, right? We're adding kind of like tie downs that we went over. Make sense? Okay, so, and then, so yeah, minimum, as a minimum, you should say 30, but we're gonna shoot for 60 plus referrals in a week. That just doubles your, your income. So we'll call it 60. But in the next part, we'll show you the very, very minimum. We will base it off of 30. So that's the average numbers. Now, the great thing that if we double the enrollments, you're doubling your paycheck triple them, you triple your paycheck. So that's something that always, always excited me. And, you know, Mason was on here. He tuned into our pre presentation, a quick little 2200 ALP on a Sunday, it took about an hour. He couldn't believe it. Right, Mason? Crazy. Nice family on there. Just got um, option B. They, they, you know, they, they, we adjusted them down a bit, which is a big one. So I was obviously thinking, thinking a little bit bigger, showing them a bigger number. Um, and they saw value in it. So once they got the presentation, you know, rapport is so important as well in the beginning, making sure you're not speeding past the rapport, which, you know, thinking years back, showing up to one of my first presentations, I slammed that AD and D down on the table and just went straight into that thing. I, I just was, I didn't, I didn't know what, I, maybe I was nervous, wanted to get through it, but in the beginning, you might, you have to sit back and relax and ask those questions. Hey, that's a beautiful home. How long you, how long you live there? Or, oh, that's a nice uh, painting you got back there, Bobby. That's amazing. That's a nice pole. You ain't pole dancing, are you? <laughs> hey, Case, I got a question for you. Yeah. Going back on kind of what you said, what, what was it that you said about the first uh, 90 days with recruits? What bonus was that? Or what? Yeah, I good, never heard of question. that. That's the best bonus. They never had. They just started this a couple years ago to where it's called a legacy recruiting bonus. Anybody that you personally sponsor when in your first 90 days, as soon as they get their first, their number and their first piece of business, whether it's $2 or a $10 Head Start program, as soon as they get that, you get a $750 pumped right in your bank account for every single person. There's no limit to that. So, but th they have to, they have to do one deal presentation. Like I watched yeah, in training, basically like, let's say, uh, you know, Bobby set an appointment for this, this set, this Friday and he was in training Thursday night. We're calling. Yeah. Th that's going to basically his first head start program, his first freedom of choice, his first, any piece of business mm. under so his name. They get the 750. So, After so you, 90 days, you still get 
which is great. I, we, we never had zero of those bonuses, but the reason you want a person to recruit is because that's a person you get to help and grow your business with and grow your team with. And also on top of everything else, right. we, we always ask in the company overview, you know, what's the best type of vacation? It's a paid free vacation, exotic location, whether it's exactly. Cancun, whether it's Dominican Republic, whether it's Las Vegas, whether it's any cool place, and you get to bring a guest. So the first 10,000 of production that that personal recruit brings on to your team counts for your convention qualification. Mm -hmm. So that's also an incentive to have a team of three to four or five individuals that's chopping your, your exotic vacation for your family in half. All right, so you got 90 days. Mm -hmm. So th that's why, you know, when we're out at the gym or talking, say, hey, we're, I actually have an opportunity right now to fill two key positions. So, and so what about, let's I'm say- I'm not sure you'd be a good fit or not, but I'll tell you what, let me get your number um, and I'll have my hiring director give you a call next time we're hiring. So you, if you could send 10 DMs a day and it doesn't cost you anything and you can make $70,000. So what about if I had somebody come on and it was, I mean, doesn't it take a good while for them to do the 12 That's chapters? That's exactly why you don't want to wait. That's exactly why you got to get, get now. It takes about a month to, at least to get through your license. Everyone here knows that. All right. Unless you got a secret way to get through a lot quicker. So unless you already got somebody in the process, you know, just look forward to the $250 whenever you bring somebody on. Well, no, <laughs> it, 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 it can happen in about a month or less. It really depends. Yeah. You, you have yeah. a hand on yeah, the pulse right. as well. If it's someone you know, like I could get you could get someone through this in a couple of weeks if we if really we if if we really needed to. And um, so you know, it's just pretty much a lot of it is um, you know just getting through. It's kind of like taking a bandaid off with some of the pre-training stuff, studying the Excel script. You just want to get through that and you know get to 100 presentations as quick as possible. So that's something that we go over in training. Is, is so important is just get it. Cause when you start, you're 100% uncomfortable. It's just the way everyone is. You never did, maybe you never didn't like this or a different, um, different field, but you do 10 presentations. Now you're 10% comfortable. Now 20, now you're 20%. And then you get to that 100. Now you've experienced a lot of the business has to offer. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, you're gonna have three people say yes, three people say no three people right in between. And our job is to get those individuals that are, you know, in between over to the enrollment side. Good stuff. So now the great thing, you can write your own paycheck and some people um, may want to write a $17,000 paycheck. Some people might want to write a thousand dollar paycheck uh, for 2000 ALP. So if you're going to have to write a paycheck and you're going to have to think anyway, why not think about a bigger one, right? Because you're going to be thinking regardless. So you might as well um, show a bigger number and really take advantage of the opportunity um, and sell it on value over price. Because that's something that the value is going to be, they're going to see value in the program. But if we're sticking to price, those people are going to be more of a pain. You know what I mean? If it comes down to it. So... <clears throat> The presentation sells itself on concept and value, so you don't have to worry about as much on price. Because when they're when when they when they want it, you're creating the you're you're showing them the problem and giving them the solution. That's what's great about this presentation. Okay. Number one. Okay, how we can get the job done? Now we obviously. Are going to have our Monday agency huddle every monday book that in your calendar 11 to typically about 11 45 noon we have our agency huddle okay you're also we're all going to have our team huddles so we're going to have monday if you want to get that down 11 a.m monday we're going to have our team huddle which is going to be 3 30 typically every monday and thursday to where that's our huddle tour we're going over our goals for that day, our phone preset appointments that we have for the next two days. We're gonna go over the production that we're gonna do in the next two days. And we're gonna basically track each hour 
our progress on our appointment setting and referrals. So total appointments and referrals booked. Uh, we're going to have those phone huddles, basically a team huddle, um, Monday, Thursday, 3.30. And then you may have some other team meetings as well. So typically huddles for the week, team huddles, we're looking at one to three hours. Now, area number two, where we're going to break down our week is going to be client services. <clears throat> All right, client services. Okay, client services. Now this is, can be after the sale or after a non-sale is where we can also run into some confusion. We have to make sure that when this client requests their, you know, free will kit package, that they're, they're receiving their free will kit. If they're requesting their child safety fingerprint kits, they have to receive their child safety fingerprint kits. So what's great about that is once again, we don't have to deliver them personally like the like UPS or the Amazon worker. We can actually just put them in the mail and save the gas and don't have to drive all out there like we did used to. Now we can do it virtually. And so it may- Okay, cost. wait a minute, wait a minute. Could you say that last part again? Because uh, the internet kind of messed up for me. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't have to actually deliver them their kits in our car. We can just mail them after the meeting, but we have to follow up. That's part of client services is typically going to be, you know, it, it could be about six to six to eight hours, plus really depending on how many sales, how many enrollments that you have that week. And I'm going to go over some, um, you know, some points underneath our client services here. Okay. So it's going to include their will kits, any child ID kits, their A, B, and D certificate printed out. <clears throat> and that's on a non-sale. They have to get pretty much their four no cost benefits or however, whatever program they teamed up with us with. And after a sale, it's going to be the blue folder. famous blue AL folder they're going to receive within that folder they're going to have on a sale obviously blue folder within office sale they're going to have the summary sheet Summary sheet, just like it sounds, a summary of everything that they included. We have the carbon copy version available where you could actually write that out. Um, or you can, when, when you upload your business, as soon as you upload it, about 10 to 15 minutes later, you'll notice in your sales notes, you can view the application and control P and you can print the summary sheet about 10 to 15 minutes after you upload your business. That's a lot easier and a lot more professional and neater to just print that thing out here at the office anytime and then put it in your client's folder that will look like this. We have stampers available that you can have the address stamped right on there. And I show that. So, um, well, we, so if we do get sales, um, we'll have to come to the office to get all the pop documents and paperwork done. Yeah, so in the beginning, your manager, myself, for you, will help you get that going in the beginning. And then you may make a period to where we'll send the will kit out for you. Your manager will help you with that, uh, especially during, definitely during the training process to where you'll get those out. And then you could potentially be able to get those on your own within your first, um, you know, you know, first you know, re release period, first couple weeks out there to where make a trip to the office, maybe come every Monday to the agency meeting. Give us a high five, turn your, turn your swabs in, turn every, all your paperwork stuff in, um, grab some of the other forms. Some people, you know, will do that or kind of play it by ear. So. Okay. And that it'd probably be best to do that like near the end of the week then, wouldn't it? 
either way, every Monday is the day we're in the office. Mondays and Thursdays are office days. So definitely okay. have you come right. more on Mondays and Thursdays for the phone meeting. And you'll be able to learn a lot more, um, you know, you know, later and, you know, you know, turn that in. But, you know, virtually or here, we'll be able to work with you, obviously, on those things. Just staying organized. The big thing is making sure you keep a to-do list of all the clients and keep notes and comments of everything that you need to do so we're not slipping anything, having anything slip through the cracks. Okay, so next, number two, it's gonna be a summary sheet, everything on there. Next is a, it's called a, what comes next form. Just like it sounds, what comes next? The most two important things on this form is the first month investment. Make sure they're clear when that's gonna come out. I'll label that, because it says tomorrow, but I make sure I let them know a, a range, whether it's next Wednesday, and you'll know this, what date that first month investment's handled. Also, the second month investment, they choose a draft date that has to be in a 14-day window. So if today's the first, it could be anywhere between the first and the 14th. If they pick the further day, it almost gives them a couple weeks for free because it won't be to the following month. So your manager will go over that a lot more detail. I usually pull up a calendar in the bottom corner, check the 14 day with. So if today was the 30th or the 28th, it could be the uh, second to the 12th because there's not always a 30th and 31st in every month. So can, all the draft days can only be the first to the 28th. And you pick the 14 day window. If you have any questions on that, we'll go over that. But that's a good good way of um, getting a client double drafted. We never want that to happen to where you don't pick in that 14 day window. You go backwards to where they'll, they'll, be, they'll cover next week immediately for the first month investment. And then whenever that draft date rolls around, they will get billed again. So that's what we're trying to avoid with that window. Does that make sense? Good. Third form after a sale is the conditional receipt. The conditional receipt that goes over that they are covered today. It has their name, received by their name, the date, the monthly investment on there, and your agent's name, four things on there. <clears throat> That's their receipt that they're covered today conditionally. Everything goes through underwriting and they were truthful, all that good stuff. So FOC is gonna be in there. The freedom of choice certificates, the FOC, that's our bread and butter. The FIG is gonna be in there. What's the FIG, the FOC and the FIG? What's the FIG, the Family Information Guide? Family Information Guide. Freedom of choice, Family Information Guide. Get to know those, the FIGs and the FOCs. Not FIG Newtons there, Bobby. They still make those FIG Newtons? I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah, they still around. They're still wow. disgusting. I, I never had a Fig Newton in years. Oh my God. It's been my ch it's childhood. Okay. Next. After a sale. Thank you note. These are available in the office. Where You're going to say, Joe, dear Joe, it was a pleasure meeting you this past week. Or, it was a pleasure meeting you on Zoom this past week. I can tell you haven't read that many case. 
<laughs> oh, you, you'd be surprised then. You'd be, I write, a, I write a million of them. <laughs> I already wrote the one off the 2200 we just wrote on Sunday. So that's already in the mail. So I write in with every piece of business, 100%. I hope, I hope your handwriting's a little neater. No, I, it's personal. It doesn't matter. It's a handwritten thank you from the heart. So they appreciate that and something typed up. They know You're I right. wrote for them. And I put the picture in there too. The, the picture is what set it off to where I put the picture, I write something personal. And, um, but I'm not usually writing it on the dry erase board on camera is why, why I write that. And I used to write them, uh, not have a zoom in there, but thanks everybody. You take a picture after every meeting, every meeting, I take a picture, I add it in there. I print it off here. And I say the next line it was a pleasure meeting you on zoom this past week. I'll say, I'm glad. That I was able to help in protecting you and your family. And sometimes I'll add through your benefits through the Teamsters or the local 66 or whatever group that they teamed up with us just to add that uh, tied in there as well. And because the picture's right in, and I'll say, go ahead. Put us up on the refrigerator because it's like we're family now. Smiley face. And I think they like that and, uh, you know, just a little extra touch. Please don't hesitate to call something personal in there. Good luck. Good luck with your trip to Florida. Have fun with um, Johnny's baseball next year. I hope they have baseball this year or whatever. Something personal is sincerely your name, your name, your number, your card on there. Some, something personal. So the thank you, that you know, that's a handwritten thank you is a great touch. And if you're adding a picture in there, we used to call it the freedom of choice picture. To where you'd actually have the picture with Joe and Mary holding the freedom of choice. But now it's pretty much just, hey, Joe and Mary, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna send a picture out to you. Give me a thumbs up. Whether they're holding their holding their they don't have a folder anymore, so it's pretty much giving a thumbs up with Joe and Mary. Before I would have them hold their freedom of choice certificates or their folder, you know, freedom of choice picks. We put them in the group and uh, just to share that with everybody in the group me. So if you don't have group me, go ahead and download it now because your manager, myself, if it's me, I'll add you in there. Uh, Bobby, you have group me? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, download that as G R O P G R O U P M E, group me, blue little logo. In case, I'll be right back. I'm just going to the bathroom real quick. Perfect. No worries. Yeah, why don't we just take a break on that? I'll wrap up. Actually, we'll, we'll just wrap up, and then we'll take a break and get into part two, which would be the referrals, and then getting into the phones. We didn't get a time check. Yep, that's, that's probably about perfect. All right, just to wrap this up, number three. Presentations. Now that's going to be about 15 hours a week, depending on your activity, depending on the length, depending on your rapport, depending on you getting to the application, assuming the sale, uh, depending on a lot of different variables, uh, about 15 hours. Obviously, we want to get as many presentations as possible because that's going to just increase you're putting pressure on the system the numbers and that's just going to increase your probability of getting a sale and part two today when we add the referrals in it's just going to boost your probability of getting a sale because we're going to get more activity and we're going to get a better result from that activity make sense yeah so we're going to go over, absolutely. go over that type of stuff so the presentation is about 15 hours we're talking over here we'll say eight to 10 hours. So we'll say that's 25 hours, client services, five, to eight, 30 hours, call that 30 then 33 hours. And then 
the remaining is going to be calling leads and referrals. And if we, if we look at the numbers, that's going to be about calling leads and referrals. Call that 20 hours. Because if we're going to be able to make one appointment, 20 to 30 dials, to get 20 appointments set, to get 10 presentations, to guarantee 33% three enrollments, this is what it's going to take. So, you know, that many DAOs when we're dealing with the leads, but part two today, when we add, when we spice it up with the referrals, that just makes it easier and more effective. Okay. Any questions on that stuff so far to where you could break it down to the 40 hour week or what's great. We do have unlimited overtime to where you can double down. If you need to make double your income for the week, you can double or triple your paycheck just by adding to these variables. Any questions? No, I'm good. Awesome, we'll take a quick break and we'll start here part two. Referrals here, we'll, we'll give it. Say 2.30. Is that good for you? Yeah, that's good. We'll start at 2.30. Cool.
All right, you guys ready? Year. All righty. like this because and this agency is that you now. can grow all it takes is pretty much you know one person one client it could be one union member a teamster a operating engineer one individual can change you know your next week turn into the month to the quarter to the year and just blow your career up for yourself for your family and everything you know your why what you're doing this for, whether it be your kids, all these things. Um, two, two key things are referrals and re recruiting. And that's the personal recruiting and referrals. So uh, we're, we're gonna touch on the referrals, get into the numbers here. And you know, what is great about this company, one thing to where if you're taking notes, just draw a line down like this, because this represents, you know, Joe, Joe and Mary, or this could be somebody that, that you were practicing with. What's, what's nice in your training process to where you may feel more comfortable practicing with somebody that you know, maybe it's someone with kids, somebody that you can at least let them know, hey, I started a new career. Maybe I need some, uh, I need some practice, getting some, some reps, you know, in this. And can you just pretend like you're a um, member, Joe and Mary, so I can go through this with you, or you could just go through it practicing for themselves and they may be able to help spark your deal. They may not enroll or they may, after you get done and explain to them, they may want to enroll. You may want to help that people, that, that family member or friend get something permanent for, you know, for their family. But within that process, Bobby, how many out of one presentation, how many do we recommend referrals co collected? 15. 15 will be great, but we, we say, hey, sponsor a minimum of 10, kind of get that out there to that client. They have everyone do their part, not a monetary dona donation, but help in saving a child's life um, to help pay it forward. Okay, and they have everyone sponsor a minimum of 10 to help blanket the community 
Uh, so do me a favor, go ahead and grab your cell phone. We're gonna head and start scroll through eight through three. So use the script, use that, get the cell phone to the table proactively is definitely gonna help when they have that cell phone right in their hands. So that's something that's gonna help. But if it's someone you know or not, if you're asking for 15 or 10 and you're saying the record's so-and-so, you're gonna guarantee that in all the avenues that you can draw five lines, that you're gonna be able to at least to get five out of them, whether it be the contingent beneficiary, tertiary. So what that means, Joe and Mary, the third beneficiary is the tertiary. So what that means, you can educate them. If, some, if God forbid you both die in a common accident, who would be the one that would handle this quarter million dollars for your family? So you paint the picture, you give it to them. Because once you give Mary that quarter million dollars of paycheck protection and permanent final expense protection and mortgage protection and children's education protection and the Head Start programs for the kids that guarantee their insurability that they'll have for the rest of their entire lives that, that grow with them and they can take it over. Once, once you explain those things to them, you know, they're, they're gonna obviously you know, gonna want those things. But anyways, getting to the five members, those five people, you're doing a great job. You're being referable. You're having great rapport. You, you've heard of people being hardcore closers. I heard of someone being a hardcore rapport builder. And if you're doing good things, they're going to give you more and more referrals. So now guess what? This person's sending you to five individuals. This person is sending you to five individuals. This person is sending you to five individuals. This person sending you to five individuals. And this person they're going to send you to 10. That one's really going to explode. And they're going to send you to 10 more. So just off of one member, this is like your money tree to where you're guaranteeing they're going to get the four no cost benefits. You're going to, you're going to get that AL plus discount card, save them on the out of pocket medical expenses, prescription drugs, chiropractic vision up to 40%. Dental up to 40%, visions up to 60 or 80, I believe. You'll have all that in your slide, but getting those out, the buying power. Everybody likes to save money, right, Joe? Tie downs. Does that make sense? You're using those things. You're gonna you're gonna get those. Use the use the script, the tools, and ask the right way. You're gonna create your money tree just like this. <clears throat> now let me ask you a question. Let's say, what percentage, let's say if we collect 10 referrals, we collect 10 referrals off of this guy here. This is, this is your family friend or a union member, whoever it was, but they gave you 10 sponsors. What percentage of these 10 will we set? How many do you think? What percentage? Maybe three. Exactly. Three, three have you been have you been to class before? Yeah, I have. It's your second class. It's your second time around. He had the answers to the test, I think. It's three. Thirty three percent. OK, so that guarantees you're going to be able to have three. Presentations that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And it's guaranteed worth if you're average. It's thirty three percent. So that just guaranteed you one sale. Make sense, everybody? Absolutely. Awesome. So the leads, the leads will give you so many appointments a week. Okay. We're blessed to have people to go see, people that requested our services. And you may have 100 people to go see. You may have more or less, but we're, we're going to call 100. Typically, that's what you're going to have in that in that release pack. Your first your first week out there on your own after your two two to three week training process, you're going to have your 100 people that either requested their free will kit, requested their child safety kit requested their union benefit, their increased benefits, their four no cost benefits. Uh, whether they, they some people could be have a policyholder in there. That's called POS, 
policy owner service. And typically managers have more POS because um, these are valued customers. These are paying customers. These are people's renewals, policy holders to where um, there are some of our most valued proven buyers, all these types of things to where uh, we take really good care and their sponsors from a policy owner are going to be golden. Those are going to be some of the best referrals you will ever collect from a POS. Does that make sense? You, you understand why? Because yeah. their friend, their family member, they, they could have been members with us for 30 years. We may have paid their family $200,000 or you see countless, unfortunately, uh, sometimes you'll go through, you'll have death claims. And, you know, I enrolled a lady, we were just up here. Her name was Jeannie, Jean. I enrolled her. I got her her free will kit program, got her set up. Literally, it took this lady. It was the time where we just started. We had to send the reply all email. We didn't even have the Zoom authorization or they, we had to send the email back. It took me literally 45 minutes to teach this, this sweet lady how to send a reply all to an email. It literally <laughs> took me 45 minutes. And then three weeks later, I get a call from Jeannie's mother that she had passed away while at physical therapy three weeks later. That's terrible. And we were able to get her $10,000. And it was just a weird thing. Like, I just remember teaching your mother how to send a reply all email. It took me about an hour to get this policy out to her. And, you know, but we were able to uh, help that family and get her the freedom of choice for at least, wasn't nothing crazy, but at least $10,000. So Right place at the right time. Yeah, three weeks, and it can happen. And unfortunately, it happens to people you know or everyone lost somebody before in their family, most likely. Absolutely. So, you know, I was starting here. I got a call. My aunt just died of a brain aneurysm a few months after me working here, 8, 10, 12 years ago. I was like, why didn't I go over this with her? She had no life insurance. She's 52 years old, dropped dead. So it can happen. So talk to those people and, you know, get, get, at least educate them. You don't have to try to get them, but you want to make sure that they're taken care of a hundred percent. Cause it can happen when you have a death claim, it, it becomes really real and they need it more than ever then. Uh, so the first week from leads, dang it. There we go. Week one from leads. From, let's say you have a lead pack, 100, 100 leads sent right into your impact. Week one, you will be able to set 20 appointments off of those leads. Week two, you're going to set 15 just off the leads, 15 appointments off those leads. Week three, you guessed it, 10 appointments off of those leads. And then week four, five. So that average is out to 12 and a half appointments set per week from your lead pack, from your leads. So we get 100 leads typically every two weeks now. That used to be a month in our other, other um, opportunities. So we're getting a lot more people to go see, which is great to where, you know, hundred people every two weeks, that's, that's unbelievable. You know, that used to be a month, but we're getting a lot more leads out because of the rate we're growing and invested into you guys and Mr. Vino pouring into the agency and may pay 26 or $30 for one person to go see. You guys know another company, you may pay for that. And I know people, cause I, I, I know these people, I see on faith, they're charging people for leads or $3,000 a month for a pack of people to go see to where those are uh, provided to you. So if you're able to set 12.5 appointments per week from leads, where's the rest gonna come from? You guessed it. Referrals. 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 So if you're gonna have to add in 10 appointments to fill in the gaps from referrals a week. So you're going to have to have a minimum of 30 referrals collected per week. Minimum. If you're getting 60 to hundred, that's when you're going to make more money 
a lot more money because you're going to have a lot more people to go see, to present to. So the when's the best chance of collecting the most referrals? When you're actually doing a presentation or when you're setting appointments. Week one, exactly. Because you're getting the most at bats. If you're going to hit the most, if you get 20 at bats versus five at bats, when are you going to hit more home runs? That's right. So you're getting more opportunities to collect the referrals. So don't do like some rookies make the rookie mistake and they forget out a couple of those presentations to collect the best referrals from some of your best leads. That's the biggest mistake. Remember I said, Bobby, don't leave your wallet at the client's house. Right. That's leaving the wallet of the client's house when you don't collect the referrals. Any questions on that? I mean, it's pretty, pr pretty cut and dry. We just got to maximize the opportunity to collect referrals, which is each, and you're going to learn on Thursday about each of those individual, the discount card, the child safe. I mean, you pretty much know it already. I mean, you, we worked on it today, the child safety, insurance referrals, after sale referrals, catch up referrals is a huge one. The catch up program that we do, which it's a problem with the group to where not all the members receive their, their for no cost benefits or receive their updated package, just like you. So what they have me do, Joe, is the catch up program is just uh, everyone, all the members, they list two or three guys that you work closest to bump elbows with that way I can check the system to get their package out to them and I'll take really good care of them. If I can't help them, I definitely won't hurt them. We'll make sure we, we get them to the front of the line because we do have thousands of members during this enrollment period. So name, number, name, number, name. If you can get two or three of those, you're getting two or three more, especially when you're with a group like I love, like for example, operating engineers. I love them because one time I sat with a guy, he made $95 an hour a few months back. And I, I hit the uh, hour power concept with him and it's no problem because he's working 40 hours a week, one hour a week. That's nothing to him. And he got the best program for his family, or at least you can do a half an hour wage. Set that half, set that 30 minutes aside for your family. Because we can unplug the cable, but we can't unplug dad. You know, that's always something. You can all those, you can always. Um, you can always find a way to make up for it. Absolutely. So collecting the referrals is something important. And then once you have them, you have to have them in the impact. We can't just have them writ written down on a piece of paper because you lose them. And it, it, trust me, I, I made the mistake and you just get way organized. I've lost sheets of referrals that that could have been $10,000. I lost on a piece of paper. Yeah. And they're not organizing their schedule and it's not generated in the system it, and it makes our numbers look bad when you're call, not calling out of the impact. It right. makes it look bad all around. Like we don't it, know what the hell we're it, doing. It skews all the data up. Yeah, exactly. So, and you don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose money. And uh, it definitely helps to have them organized and entered in. It takes an extra second, but once you learn how to navigate and type them in, I always have the referral page queued up and I enter them right in there and the e-app and then I get into the needs analysis. You have to be quick of having that information handy. I like to print out the A, B, and D or have it on my second computer, which my, you know, my Mac, I was down a computer, which I had a system to where I always had their picture up, their card up all the whole full time. Cause I needed, I might've forgot Mary's name or their address. You have to type in like three times. So you have to have that handy cause you don't want to be fumbling around, wasting time. Look, trying to log back into the impact and you lose the client on the Zoom. So you can lose a client within 10 seconds. You know what I mean? So you have to be on point with, organized with your PowerPoint, your e-app, and that's two homework assignments a night. So getting through the training, make sure you're in training mode, getting through to the end of the application, the whole, all the way to the end, not just getting to the app, Sealing the app, keep hitting next, 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 making sure page one, page two, everything's filled out. And make sure one of them has high blood pressure. One of them is a smoker. 
one of them has diabetes because you got to fill out all these questionnaires that pop up. So that's what you got to get familiar with. And it's don't want to learn in front of the client because it looks really unprofessional if you don't know how to do the form in front of your first sale. It's kind of like we use the analogy, like if you're going to get some heart surgery and you meet the doctor and he's there and he's like, wish me luck, dude. I'm, I'm not too familiar with this procedure, man. I don't know. Wish me luck. And he's about to slice you open. Are you going to want to go to that doctor? No, you no, you're going to probably that. run out of there. I was on a commercial. He's like, Hey, just got off. Uh, what do you call it? When they ask uh, malpractice or something like that. And he's coming to see you and you're like, no, no, no. So you got to be confident. Like you've been there before. And even though you're brand new, you're not going to say, Hey, this is my first time ever doing this really enrolling somebody in these are their life insurance. You're probably going to act as if you know, you've been there before a bit, get through it. That's why knowing your script and practicing a lot definitely helps that. Okay. So that's pretty much everything with referrals. Um, any questions on anything with referrals? You can collect your own referrals. They recommend that you do have 30 referrals for you that you personally collect, whether it be people you're practicing with, your, your neighbor. I mean, we can see anybody on Zoom. You can say, hey, what's your email? I'm going to send you a link. Hop on here. I got to practice this or I need your help. All right. I got a new career. You hear? Okay. Um, I opened my new business. Two people like it, but you got a job worth making $10 an hour. 17 people are super excited, but you're starting your own business. Nobody wants to You get five likes. You ever see that, that post? Yeah. Hey, I started my own business, five likes. Hey, I got a $10 an hour job, 400 likes. But hopefully you have people that will want to help you and, you know, uh, root for you when you run your own business like this. So people that you can get practice with, maybe you can call an old coach, teacher, friend, mentor, someone, you know, that say, Hey, Maybe a person of influence, they know two people that could help you grow your business or someone that's looking for, so you can help train those people or get them in a training class or um, at least get some personal recruits to get $750 bonuses rolling for everybody. So that's a huge thing, taking advantage of that because who doesn't need an extra $1,400 or four people? That's an extra $3,000 right in your bank account. And you don't even have to train the people. They're just giving, they're trained for you and they'll be on your team. So that's something that's huge. All right, so we're gonna start off with hard cards. We're gonna transition into some phone sparring. Phone sparring, just like boxing. Bobby say he likes some boxing. It's like phone sparring here to where we wanna sweat a little bit in practice so we don't bleed when we're at battle. So I might be a little more hard on you or Bobby, you might be hard on you just so you obviously, because if you're able to get through your manager, typically I want, well, you're going to try to sell me something. What's this all about? Why does my wife have to be here? How long is this going to take? Why do I have to do zoom? Why can't you mail it? Like all these rebuttals. If you can get through me, the client's going to be super easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave myself a paper cut. See, it, you can get hurt on the job, even, even in the office. I need my A71, that's the accident policy. All right. Bobby, you have your hard card script. Yes, I do. Awesome. So you have your hard card script, Adolfo. I'm going to have you come up here. And the first time, the first round, I want you to be easy on each other, back and forth. Just get through it, smooth as you can. A few notes, four things before we get started. Number one, right on top of your call script, your hard card script. Smile and dial. 
Because people, <laughs> people can hear it, can't you? I'm smiling. <laughs> Write that on your script. You can hear it. Mary, Joe. <gasps> it's a lot better. You don't get hung up on. So smile and dial, that's number one. And number two, you write. I am busy. And you, you're, you can write this. I am for it. I am in control. So that's what you got to write on all of your call scripts. Smiling down, number one, because Joe and Mary, they can hear it. Number two, I am busy. Sometimes you have to tell them that you are busy. They don't just realize, hey, this guy's really busy. Maybe they could tell a little bit. They hear a bunch of things. But, but you have to say, hey, I'm completely swamped. We are running a completely booked up schedule. They have me working overtime. You're one of the last members to receive their benefit package. All I need to do is you verify your information to so get your benefit package sent out to you. You know, whatever it is, I'm busy. You're telling them you're busy. They hear it in a matter, as a matter of fact tone. I'm never rude to the clients. I'm never, I'm as a matter of fact tone because they filled out the record. I'm super, I'm never rude. I'm never, um, be nice to the clients, super nice always, but you're, you're important, you know, and you're in control. Tell them you're the quality manager. Tell them you're the supervisor. Um, once you get new and, and once you know what you're talking about, you're in control. I'm completely swamped. We see about 10 to 14 members a day. I'm completely booked up. I have a very busy schedule. I have appointments every hour on the hour. The quicker, the better. The quicker, the better for me. What I can go ahead and do for you, I'll tell you what, I'm going to send you a link. Pull up your email right now. Tell me, let me know when you got it. That's, that's good control right there. You get them to go, okay. Okay, click on it. This is called Zoom. Have you been on here before? Zoom handshake. Make sure you guys do the Zoom handshake or the Zoom pound, whichever you prefer. So that's the, on the phones. You have to get through it. You notice it doesn't say, hi, my name's Casey with American Income. We hand your benefits to the Teamsters. They sent you a letter and you sent out a little card. It doesn't say, do you remember doing that at all, do you? Does it say uh, that in there? No, it doesn't. No, I hear people say that. You know, we, we can't say that because um, that gives them an out. I, I hear that out here. Some people say, that. do you remember doing that? I don't know if they want an agreement or I used, I, I was guilty of it before too. I have said it before, but it, it just stick to the script because it works. They sent you a letter about this. You felt the little card. I need to verify what you wrote down. Now you wrote down your address as this. Is okay. this correct? Yes. Because this works. So stick to this. And you, it allows you to bounce back too. Because I always have my script. Because you might start talking about the weather and a football game or something. And then next thing you know, you lost your spot. So you're able to go back and make sure you're hitting all the points. And make sure you're getting them on the Zoom getting the email, receiving the link, introducing yourself. Cause it's almost like an old door knock we used to do. When we're out in the field, we would door knock if we were in that client's area. Cause you click a button on the impact and it'll show you all the leads in that area, right next door, two doors down, any radius. So you swing by and say, hey, I was actually seeing your neighbor over here and your team search, Joe, I don't know if you know him, uh, but we're wrapping everybody up in your area. You were one of the last members to receive. I'm gonna be back on your street tomorrow at seven o'clock. Make sure you just let your spouse know. We're wrapping everybody up. Sound good? Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you a confirmation email or whatever you're going to say. But they got to meet you for a brief second. Same thing with the Zoom. So where if they get to see hello to you, say, hey, how you doing? I'm glad we got you Zoom. Congratulations. You're a Zoomer now. All these things. People like it too. I'm going to teach you a few things, Mary. Don't worry. All the kids are doing it. I'll teach you. All the doctors and kids are doing it. I'll teach you a few things today. 
very quick, and I'm saying a lot, all the members love how quick and easy it is. All of our members love how quick and easy it is to get your benefits wrapped up. All I do, I pull it up right on your computer screen there, right in front of your eyeballs so you can see it. That's all, and then everything gets sent right out to you. It's the safest way, all that stuff. So, all I need to do is verify um, what you entered so we can get your packet sent out to you. Sound, okay, perfect. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, Sesame Street, okay, great. Getting through the script, getting them the two times. As it says in the script, which one works better? Da, 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 da. Solidification, and then also adding a, something extra in there. You know, I'm gonna send you a link from Calendly. Um, it's gonna send you a, a, an email and a text reminder, just so you don't forget about me on this Zoom call, like a, like a date, like one of my old dates or something. The joke will be good. You don't leave me hanging, like whatever you gotta say to have these people show up a little, but you're serious about it, you know, cause that's a show ratio that we need these people to show up. So we have to do a good job of not just pushing the appointment, making sure that, hey, if I do give this to you, unfortunately, um, I can't service another member and we're completely swamped seeing 10 to 14 families a day, you would take this from another family. Any reason you wouldn't be there? You're not gonna forget about me on the Zoom call, are you? Okay, great, I didn't think so. That extra phone solidification makes you more money because they're gonna be here. Got it? Yeah. All right, so come on up Adolfo, come on, come up to the hot seat. Bobby, you're going to start us off. You're going to set Adolfo that Adolfo is going to set you on a hard card. Okay. And you go ring, ring, and he's going to call you. I'm busy, important, in control. Ring, ring. Hi. Hello. Um, my name is Bobby. I'm with American in in Income. Can I speak to Adolfo, please? Yeah, this is Adolfo. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we handle your benefits through um, the AIL that you work with. Um, they sent you a letter about this. Uh, you sent in a like card. Um, I just need to verify some information on there for, for a moment, okay? All right. Um, so you wrote down that your address is 567 Adult Street? Uh, yes, sir. All right. You also wrote down that your date of birth is uh, 12789? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Um, it also says that you filled out some information about your uh, beneficiary. Uh, you wrote down that you wanted your sister. Is, is, is that right, your sister? Yes, sir. All right. Well, that looks great. Um, it looks like you're one of the last few people I had to work with today. Uh, I just wanted to have a chance to explain to you uh, your benefits that you get through your, through your membership with the union. Uh, set up And maybe set up a life insurance and health discount card with you. Uh, which will save you some money on out-of-pocket uh, expenses. I'll also show you how to activate and start using that card and explain to you uh, what else has been set up for you. Um, does this make sense? Yes. Um, you're, you're pretty young. Do you have any children? Uh, nope. Okay, so you didn't uh, fill out, I see here that you didn't fill out for the child safety kit. Um, however, these child safety kits are available for anyone. Do you have anybody in mind that you, that you know that would like to use some child safety kits? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe later I'll, I'll get back. We'll come back around to that. Uh, it's my job just to explain and deliver uh, the benefits that's been set up for you through your union. So the, that's the only purpose of this job, this uh, call right now. Unfortunately, we are unable to deliver these uh, benefits to everybody in person because of the, the pandemic. So we're going to be doing uh, a lot of presentations through the zoom meetings. Uh, so just so you, you have and understand what you need for? Uh, can you repeat that again? Have you ever done a Zoom meeting before? Oh, uh, yeah. You have? All right, excellent, excellent. So that, that'll be no problem. I can send you a Zoom invitation through the email. Uh, do you have an email address that I can send a Zoom inv invitation through? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what is it? It's uh, 123A5 at hotmail.com. Okay, so you told me 123A5 at hotmail.com? Yes, sir. All right.
Well, that's good. So you're already familiar with Zoom, so we can set up that meeting. We can talk about all the other benefits that you have. Um, do, do me a good favor right now. Could you grab a pen and paper and write down my information? All right. All right. I want you to write down my name. My name is Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y-E. Uh, all right. Uh, last name Swafford, S-W-A-F-F-O-R-D. S-W-A-F-F. F-F. Yes, O-R-D. O-R-D. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look at my schedule right quick, see what time I can uh, give you. Um, I have a couple of things available uh, tomorrow. Spots open tomorrow, 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Is anything, is, would that be perfect for you? Uh, yeah, that would be perfect. All right, great. I'll pencil you in, mm -hmm. um, and I will send out an email to you right away, probably in the next 20 minutes, so that you can see the invitation to the Zoom meeting, and I'll be looking forward to see you then, okay? All right. All right, man. Talk, talk, talk to you later. Have a nice day. All right. Decent. Decent. Thank you. Good. All right. Let me get that mic back. Decent. <laughs> Decent. Decent. Co couple things. Yeah. Um, all right. You can grab a seat there. A uh, couple things is, is going to be, I wouldn't ask for referrals in the middle of the phone call. You, you'll probably learn about referrals. I know you're so excited and you're eager to get, to get some referrals. You right. tried writing the phone, which, which, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but you, you might want to wait to the presentation point. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or um, some people doing the like referrals off of referrals and they talk to their friends about you and the program. I've had people have a list of 10 or 15 people waiting for me when I got there, mm -hmm. you know, or ready to go over with them. So it depends how you have everything set up. Okay. But yeah, you typically would just stick to the script in that. And then, also, you want to try to say, hey, go up. I'm going to send you the link right now. You try to get them on Zoom, especially when we're practicing, and ask them, are, are you – go ahead. I'm going to send you an email. Are you able to pull it up right now? Just to confirm – just I want to make sure you're, we're able to get you on the Zoom okay. if you've never been on there before, obviously. Right. Or if they have been, hey, I'm going to send you a link just to make sure it's working for us. Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. Make sure you're on here. Everything's working for 4 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Great to meet you. That's going to increase our show ratio, but if not, obviously get them at least to um, verify their email. On a hard card, make sure you write a note. I, we went over this. <clears throat> make sure you write get email on top of your hard card mm -hmm. presentation phone script because they're obviously not on there to send a Zoom link if we're virtual. So. All right. Red Rock, decent. All right, now let's have him call Bobby. Smiling Dow. I'm busy. Important. Be loud. Um, as a matter of fact, tone. Oh, there we go. Ring, ring. Hello. Is this Bobby? Oh, yes, it is. Hi, Bobby. This is Adolfo with American Income. We handle your benefits through your union. They sent you a letter about this, and you sent in a yellow reply card. I just need to verify some information that you wrote down. Now, Bobby, you wrote down that your address is 123 Happy Street. Is that correct? Yes, it is. All right. You also wrote down that your date of birth is 02-2178. Is that correct? Uh, no, it's actually uh, 831.74. All right. I'll get that fixed. For the beneficiary of the life insurance policy set up through your union, you wrote down your wife. Is that still correct? Yes, that's correct. All right, great. It looks like you're one of our last few members who haven't received their benefits package yet, and it's just my job to get you caught up with all, all their members. Your union set up a life insurance policy and health and health services discount card, which will save you money on your out-of-pocket medical expenses. I'll show you how to activate and start using your card as well as explain what have been set up for you. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. Uh, do you have any children? Or have uh, you requested a child safety kit? I did, I did request a child safety kit. Um, I, I think I requested three of them. Uh, all right. So 
Three, I'll put those, I'll put those child safe kits in your benefits package and show you how to use them. Uh, it's just my job to deliver and explain the benefits that have been set up for you through your union. Unfortunately, right now, we are unable to deliver these benefits in person given the current situation, and I'm sure you understand. So that's why they have us doing now, they have us doing these meetings with members through, through Zoom. Are you familiar with Zoom meetings? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Oh, fuck, I got lost. All right, quick question. You have a laptop, phone, or tablet with a camera, right? Yes, I do. All right, great, that'll, that'll do. I do have a pretty busy schedule, but I can squeeze you in on Wednesday, four to, five, four to six o'clock. Uh, is that a good time for you? Um, maybe not tomorrow. Uh, do you have anything available uh, the next day? Uh, next day I got around 7 p.m. Um, that's perfect. That's perfect. Middle of All the right. evening. All right. Uh, can you do me a favor? Do you have a pen and paper? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need you to write down my name, and oh yeah, I'm gonna need you to write down my name. All right. It's uh Adolfo, A D O L F O. Okay. Ar Artiaga, A R T E A G A. Oh, okay. All right, and uh, I'm gonna need you to write down the. Um, I'm gonna need you to write down Thursday, 7 p.m. for the meeting. And uh, I'll hope to see you with your spouse then. Yes, no problem. All right. Now, is there any reason that 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 time wouldn't work for both of you? Um, no, that should be great. Uh, we usually home around that time, both of us. All right, great. Because around that, uh, I need to make sure that time works because it's a time that I wouldn't be able to meet with any other members. All right, so, so I'm going to send you a link uh, to your email address. Uh, can, uh, what's your email address? Uh, my email address is... BW at outlook.com. All right. So I just sent you a link. Uh, could you make sure to, could you click on it right now? So we can make sure there's no, uh, there's no uh, diff technical difficulties going on with the link. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me pull it up. Let me see where I can find it. Okay, I see it there. Uh, sure. Click on it. Uh, All right. So once you're in, you should be able to see me on the screen. Okay, hey, I got you. How you doing? Uh, Zoom handshake. You gotta hit with the handshake. Right? Zoom handshake. <laughs> All right. And so I'll be sending you a courtesy text message 15 minutes prior to your meeting as a reminder. That's all I have for you today. Just use this same link for our appointment on Thursday, 7 p.m. I look forward to meeting you with your spouse then. Okay. All right. Good. Awesome. Well, decent, decent. Obviously, when you get better, you, you know, you're going to um, you're going to get a lot smoother with it. Yeah. More practice. Obviously, the, the more times that, that you do it, you're going to rip through it, you know, a little bit better, a little smoother. But you got through it. You got them on the Zoom. Definitely. Um, did you guys hear the quote of 2020? What was that? You're on mute. I saw that. That was, that was the quote of 2020. You're on mute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so decent. Just uh, now. Now I want you to stick to hard cards. Well, um, I, I want you to be a little harder on them. Now I want you to call. Uh, Bobby, call Adolfo, and Adolfo, I want you to give him a couple rebuttals like, uh, can't you just mail it, buddy? How long is this going to take? Or, you know, just pick pick one, one or two off of there. That way, give him a little bit of a trouble. And then any rebuttal that you get, you handle that rebuttal and then go right back into the two times. Which one works better for you? You handle the rebuttal, handle that. Unfortunately, you know, like I said before, they have us, 
it's uh, your, your, your legal documents. It does take some expertise. That's why people would get an attorney. That's why they have us at least run through briefly the workbook section of the will kit with you. It could take, it could take three minutes to run through that workbook. Then we just get everything mailed right out to you. So the quicker, the better for me, we have appointments every hour on the hour. So there's certain things you have to add in there, hand or rebuttal, then go back into setting the two time. Okay. So we'll go, you know, ring, ring and we'll, um, Bobby can call Adolfo and I want you to be a little bit, give him a little bit of trouble. <laughs> give me a little bit of trouble. Sparring. <laughs> you got to hit him a little bit. You got to hit him with a couple, a couple jabs. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Adolfo, please? Uh, this is Adolfo. Hey, Adolfo. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Bobby. I'm with American um, Income Life Insurance. Uh, we're here to handle your benefits through uh, the AIL um, union that you're a part of. Uh, they sent out a letter to you in a with a yellow reply card. Uh, do you remember getting that yellow reply card? Uh, I don't remember any card. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I'm just here to verify some of the information that you did write down. Um, let's say, uh, is your address still 125 Adult Street? Uh, yes, sir. Um, you also wrote down that your date of birth was 12-5-79? Uh, yeah. All right, well, that's good. Uh, for the beneficiary, uh, you, you set up, uh, I see here that you wrote down that your sister is going to be a beneficiary? Yeah. All right, well, great. Um, looks like you're one of the last few members that haven't received their full benefits package yet. And it's just my job to get you caught up with the rest of the members and make sure that you're all on the same page as far as knowing what your benefits will be. Um, I'm also going to walk you through setting up your life insurance policy and a health insurance di discount card, which will save you money on your out-of-pocket medical expenses. Um, I'll show you how to activate it and start using that card as well as explain to you how everything has been set up for you. Uh, does this make sense? Uh, yeah. Uh, how much will this cost? Um, these are all no cost benefits that have already been set up through the agreement between my company and your union. So all this stuff has already been taken care of. This is all of this is no cost to you. Um, however, I do need to set up an appointment so that we can talk about all your full benefits that you're going to get. All right. Um, I also see here that you did not trust a, a child safety kit. Do you have any kids? Uh, no. You do not. All right. Well, do you, if you have anyone that um, has children in your family or any family members um, also included in your benefits package as a child safety kit, and I will make sure that I talk to you about uh, getting as many of those uh, out to you as possible that you may need for your friends and family. Okay. All right. Um, just today, I'll explain the benefits that have been set up through you. Unfortunately, we are unable to deliver these benefits in person given because, because of the, the, the pandemic that's going out. So we're not going out to people's houses right now. So it, what they're going to have us do is going to have us talk to the members, uh, set up a Zoom video meeting so that we can talk to each other virtually. Are you Zoom in any kind of way? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's good. I mean, most of the young guys nowadays are familiar with Zoom, so I'm, I'm sure you know what you're doing. Um, you probably can show me a few tricks. Uh, quick question. Do you have a laptop, phone, or tablet with the camera on it? Uh, yes, I do. Great. Um, so that'll work. We'll be able to book up a schedule for you real quick. Um, let me see if I can squeeze you in. Um, it looks like I might have some time available tomorrow between 3 and 4. Does that work for you? Uh... Not not at that time. Uh, not at two times, which works better? Uh, is there I'm, any other day or time? Um, I have something a couple of hours later, uh, seven o'clock. Uh, that'll be perfect. Seven o'clock, that'll be great for you. Great. I'm gonna pencil you in right here. Uh, could you uh do me a favor and write down some information I need to give you right now? All right. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, write down my name. My name is Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y-E. All right. Uh, my last name is Swafford, S-W-A-F-F-O-R-D. All right. Uh, finally, I need you to write down that time uh, for tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, just make sure you get that penciled in so that you can see it. Uh, and I'll be meeting with you. And, well, you don't, you're not married, are you? Uh, no, sir. 
That's right. So I'll just be meeting with you. Um, do you have any reason that you won't be able to, you, do, do you have anything that may come up around that time that you won't be able to make the meeting? Uh, no. No? All right, well, I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow. Make sure that you remember what time it is. Um, in order to uh, get you in on the meeting, I'll be sending you an email to uh, set up all, um, the Zoom meeting for you so that you can just click on the link in your email. Uh, all I need from you right now is your email address. Could you provide that for me, please? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. A five. A5 at hotmail.com at hotmail.com. Okay. Give me just a moment. I'm going to send an email out to you right now so that you can get and check that uh, email link to make sure that everything's going to be working for you. Do you, are you at your computer? Or do you have a lap, your phone with you right now? Uh, yeah. All right. Great. That's perfect. Um, okay. I sent out the email now. Um, could you go into your emails and check and see if uh, you got that and everything's working? All right. Uh, yeah, it's working. It's working. Great. Awesome. So um, I guess that's about it. I'll be sending you a, a text message tomorrow mes tomorrow afternoon, uh, about a quarter to seven, just to give you a reminder that we do have a meeting tomorrow. Um, just look forward to that. Um, if not, if, if not, just be prepared to click on the link at, the, at, the, at seven o'clock so we can have our meeting, okay? All right. All right, and thanks a lot for talking to me today. I appreciate it. All right, great. Don't, don't say thank you yet. That's a role that's hard for people to uh, come over. Bill usually thank you. Say, oh, you're welcome. I look forward to meeting you. We'll get you all squared away with your benefits. Because you don't okay. really, really do anything, too, anything much for them really yet. Right. Okay. Um, don't give them, don't give them a, a feeling of relief. That, 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 that's yeah. typically what you hear. Um, to be like, oh, I didn't really, you didn't do that for me yet. They'll, they'll yeah. typically thank you. He's clapping right. for you. Let's <laughs> get, Bob. Let's get this fucking money, boy. <laughs> Mason, we're training uh, when we're recording here for training class. I mean, oh, what? Well, there ain't nothing wrong with getting a little excited. Fire. You get a little excited. That's okay. I was trying to hold back all the F bombs. <laughs> hey, sorry. We, Pardon my friend. We can get we can get real fired up, but it's all good. It's, it's all good. It's all I good. love it. Great job. Couple things, couple pointers. Yeah. Uh, is also, we, we do try to uh, set same day appointments which would be, you're always giving them two times. Like I was trying to go over, you're giving them two times, whether it be, Hey, I can squeeze you in at nine o'clock uh, tonight, my last stop or tomorrow at seven 30, which one works better for you, you know, or two times the next day, if you didn't have anything, but typically we do try to get an eight 30, nine o'clock appointment that same day. Cause that's going to guarantee the show ratios there. They're going to be there and it's going to be more, more likely a sale. Okay. Got you. So if they're ready to go now, or hey, they can only do it at eight o'clock, eight thirty tonight. Let's get them on, and you know, get that enrollment to happen. Or, or it might be Sunday at two o'clock. I usually set a couple appointments like Sunday two to three, three to four, uh, in that afternoon, one to two window where most people aren't doing too much and they're coming home and they're able to get this stuff taken care of for their family. Um, you know, and. It's possible, you know, we did it. We made literally a thousand dollars in about an hour on Sunday. You can work a couple hours. That's like That's great. our overtime day. You're getting two times the result of other people. You know how bartenders, if you ever know any bartenders, they'd have to work Friday and Saturday evening and miss their whole, all their social life because yeah. they're making over, they're making the big bucks that day. That's when they That's need right. to work. If they work a Tuesday night, that's not a good night to work at the bar or used to be <laughs> right. So same thing with this, even like Uber drivers, you might get paid more on like New Year's Eve. I saw one time I tried to get Uber. I was downtown uh, Philly, New Year's Eve. It was like $97 to go like this far. It was crazy. I've never, that was the highest I've ever seen Uber New Year's Eve. So don't get Uber New Year's Eve. <laughs> or maybe you should, maybe I shouldn't give you that advice. Maybe you if should. You if you don't want to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Get it or don't get it, but you're going to pay for it. Either way, you're going to pay. So better off paying the extra hundred dollars, getting a DUI. Nobody wants that if you're going to drink. So exactly. So that's pretty much uh, now let's switch. Let's switch gears. Let's go to the will kit. And these are going to be more of a senior. So you have to think uh, you're going to call will kits a lot more of them in the morning. 
you're going to have a lot more result call will kits in the morning rather than eight thirty nine o'clock at night. The okay. union guys, six to eight, that's like the prime time for calling unions and referrals, six to seven, six to eight for calling unions and referrals. We typically do not call a referral past or a union or most, most unions past eight o'clock. Cause they can get tip. Uh, they can get, they can go to bed early. Some of the groups and unions so yeah. don't want to create a PR complaint after eight o'clock, but referrals, POS, child safety, will kit, you can call them till nine Oh five, nine right. o'clock basically. And try to get that nine o'clock appointment because eight to nine o'clock appointment that guarantees a 75% plus close close ratio. So just so if you're sitting with a referral contingent beneficiary off a sale that you rolled at 9 p.m., it's like a guaranteed sale. Absolutely. You know, you're just adding to the percentage of you getting a sale. All right, let's go to the wheel kits. So let's have uh, who wants to go first? All right. He's, Adolfo's going to go first. Come on up to the to the studio. There you go. There you go. Ring, ring. Wow! Come on, smile and dial. Let's go. Let's get it. Ring, ring. Hello. Oh, um, may I speak to Bobby? Oh, speaking. Hey, Bobby, how are you today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. All right. The, this is Adolfo with American Income. We had uh, we handle your request for the free will kit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So what well, what do you know about the will kit so I can get you off the phone a lot quicker? Um, I know that it's just a, a piece of information so I can uh, make sure that all my family members know what I want to have done with me when I die. Right. Uh, well, yeah, basically that's what it is. Uh, all it is, is a tool that allows you to create your own will at no cost. Uh, then this kit includes a full blown will and Testament and Testament plus a living will. Uh, this kit will also, mm, is also a two-part program. The first part ensures everything is laid out for you and your family when you die. And the second part is designed to just make sure your financial wishes are carried out as well. Now, does that make sense, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, when you filled out the form online, you said you would need uh, three will kits. Is that correct? Um, no, I only need two. All right. Oh, I'll get two of those for you. Also, you put your address down as 123 Happy Street. Uh, is that still correct? Yes, it is. All right. You also listed your email as um, uh, Bobby at gmail.com. Is, is that still correct? Yes, it is. All right. Perfect. All right, Bobby. So it's just my job to deliver and explain this kit to you because it does require a little bit of expertise. But unfortunately, we are unable to deliver these kits in person given the current situation. I'm sure you understand that as well. So okay. what they have us doing is meeting with, with these families that are asking for these kits through Zoom meetings. Now, are you familiar with Zoom? Yes, I am. Awesome. All the, uh, uh, <laughs> no, nobody wants to say that part. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you have a laptop, tablet, or smartphone with a camera, right? Oh, uh, yes, I do. All right. That'll work just fine. Now, Bobby, what time do you, uh, do you and your spouse typically, typically, uh, typically get home from work? Um, we're usually all in the house around 7 o'clock. All right. Uh, I do have a pretty booked up schedule due to the overwhelming response for these kids, but I can squeeze you in at, uh, on Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m., or Thursday, 8 p.m. Which time works best for you? Um, Wednesday would be fine. All right. Uh, can you do me a favor? Grab a pen and paper. I have some very important information for you to write down. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, give me a second. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. All right. Uh, I'm going to need you to write down my name. 
Adolfo, A D O L F O. Adolfo, okay. Uh, Artiega, A R T E A G A. Artiega, okay. All right. Uh, and can you write down uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m.? Oh, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I got it. All right. Now, uh, now, Bobby, uh, is there any reason why 8 p.m. wouldn't work for, for you and your spouse? Uh, nope. Okay, great. Uh, I just need to make sure that 8 p.m. works because that's a time I wouldn't be able to see any other family requesting these kids. Okay. All Understand. right. So I'm sending you a link to uh, for the Zoom meeting. Just let me know when you received it. Oh, you sent it to me in my email? Uh, yeah, uh, I emailed it to you. Okay, sure. Let me check that right quick. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I see it. Let me click on it right quick, see if it's going to bring me to the page. All right, everything started up fine. All right. Uh, so when 8 o'clock comes around, just make sure that uh, that there is no issue. Uh, wait, fuck. Um, Oh, when tomorrow, tomorrow, eight o'clock, just make sure. Uh, oh, fuck, I fucked up already. Click the hump on you again. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta, you gotta get more yeah. smooth. You got, that's why you got to practice out loud a lot. Obviously, you're probably one of your first times, um, you know, you know, doing that. Thank you. Um, but getting through it, the wills, the, you know, they may give you a, a, you know, a little bit more you know, rebuttal or two, but just getting it out, you know, that's going to be, that's going to help you. And the more times we do it, you're going to be saying it like it's your middle name and you won't necessarily, you know, need that script. Uh, we have it there at all times. Even myself, I still use the scripts out just so I make sure, cause that's what works. I might miss a word or here and there. I, I get that. Um, and I'll add a few things. Like I went over with you, Bobby, I'll get you off the phone really quick. A couple things you'll notice that what, what works over and over again and, hopefully you guys can implement some of those tips you get from our, our, you know, the great teachers that we have taught us everything. Um, that way you don't have to learn for yourself. You can actually just start making the money immediately. You just implement that stuff and that's what works. Awesome. So let's hear Bobby fired, fired away. Do I have to <laughs> last one? You got this rip it for him and, uh, tell him to mail it. All right, ring, ring. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, can I speak to Adolfo Ortega, please? Uh, this is me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Bobby. Um, I'm from American Family Income. Uh, we handled your request for a free will kit. Uh, okay. Uh, uh yeah. Are you remember that? Uh, what do you know about the will kit? Uh, is there any? Uh, I don't know much. I heard that it's like to set up like my will or something like that um yeah close enough um so let me tell you it's a critical family planning tool that allows you to create your own will at no cost um this kit will come with a full-blown will and testament and a living will uh the free kit also is a two-part program um the first part ensures everything is laid out for you and your family when you die and the second part is designed to just make sure your financial wishes are carried out as well uh does that make sense to you uh, uh yeah great great now when you fill out the form online uh you said you would need two wheel kits is that correct uh yeah Great, great. I'll get those out for you. Um, also, you put down your address as 1235 Adult Street. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, you also listed your email as, um, what's this, 123A5 at uh, gmail.com? Uh, yeah. Okay. What all about? <laughs> Wait, Wait, what you... Wait a second. What's this all about? Uh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, what's all this about? Oh, this is about the wheel kit that you had requested through your union. Oh, all right. All right. Wait one second. You're gonna try to sell me something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, 
<laughs> um, is that your brother in the background? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, this is all stuff that you requested. <laughs> this is all, all. All I'm doing is uh, presenting all the information to you about the free will, Chris, which you requested. Um, it's just my job to deliver and explain this clip to you. Um, and it does require a little bit of expertise, so uh, you will have to have someone walk this through with you. Um, but unfortunately, we're unable to deliver these kits to your home uh, because of the pandemic and all the restrictions that all of us are living with right now. Um, I'm sure you can understand that. So uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to set up a Zoom meeting. Uh, we'll be able to talk over everything that going on with the wheel kit, and and we'll be doing that through Zoom. Are you familiar with Zoom? A uh, little bit, yeah. A little bit. Well, everybody's doing it nowadays. I mean, considering what's going on in the world. So we're all using Zoom. Um, it's, it's a great skill to, to bring up. So if you don't already have it on your smartphone or your computer, it would be a great time to, to download it now um, so that I can uh, walk you through the process of being able to even open up um, a Zoom account. Um, first of all, uh, I want to set up a time that maybe you and I could uh, talk about this um let's see do you have a date and time let me see i have some time available this evening at about seven o'clock uh that'll be perfect that'll be perfect all right per i hit the nail on the dot with that one thank you very much um actually i will need you to write down some information i'm gonna pencil you in right here uh, I need you to write down some information just so I know that you have it. Uh, could you write my name down, please? Uh, it's Bobby. All right. B-O-B-B-Y-E. Okay. Also, uh, my last name is Swafford, S-W-A-F-F-O-R-D. Okay. And uh, finally, write that down, uh, 7 p.m. tonight. Um, just so that, you know, if it slips your mind, it's already on a piece of paper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you an email for a link to that Zoom account. And I just want you to, did you, did, do you already have it downloaded on your phone? Uh, yeah, it just finished downloading. Oh, that's great. All right. So all I want you to do is I want you to open up that email. Look at that email that I just sent for you. Uh, click on the link in that Zoom for the Zoom meeting. And we'll see, make sure everything's working properly. Uh, all right. Uh, it seems to be working. So, yeah. Great, great. All right. So um, I guess I will be talking to you in a little bit. Um, just make sure that you uh, remember what time we're supposed to be meeting. You, you don't see any reason that something. Not, not you guess. I'll definitely see you on there in a little bit. Don't forget about me. You know, yeah. you don't say I guess I'll see maybe see you. Yeah, I told you I, I'm so used to using passive language you know <laughs> yeah I, I caught myself when I said it I said right. I caught myself when I said that's it too. good all right so yeah obviously by the third or fourth time you guys are obviously getting a lot better you know and get, getting some rebuttals in there saying it out loud every phone day you're gonna have your scripts you're gonna warm up two or three or four times before you even get started just like this that way you're able to hop on the phones be ready to go, expect the rebuttals, expect they're going to say mail it, this, and you're nailing each one. Mm -hmm. Sound good? So uh, that's pretty much it. A any other questions? Keep plugging away with those. We'll teach you um, Thursday the impact. Um, you know, all, all those things. Call in, keep practicing your script, and we'll see you. Um, I have, um, Bobby, I could talk to you tonight. I do have some appointments tonight. I don't know if you're, um, you want to learn to Get, get some calls going tonight. I can, you know, get you on in between my appointments. Or okay. if you want to, you want to join me, definitely more than welcome. We'll ha have you on there. Um, or if you have nothing, you know, if you're ready to rock all night, you know, I'm ready to go. I have about a five, five thirty, seven and, uh, and seven right right now. Oh, okay. Um, sure. I'll I'll be I'll I'll, I'll be glad to do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll go over that. We'll um, I'll see you on here. Um. It's my it's my same for my personal line. It's 412-498-7276, my phone number. You can just join that. We'll, we'll say 445, okay? Okay, so when I go into the Zoom, I just join with your phone number? Yes. Great. Okay, I got you. 445, you click the plus sign, join, and if it doesn't work, just text me. Okay. Good stuff, good training. You guys will be, just get the 100 presentations. 
don't quit, do it. Like Nike says, don't give up, keep going, get better every single day. Make sure you do your two homework assignments every night. That's actually getting through the two fake apps. The e-apps in training mode has to have red at the top. Okay. And, and putting yourself on film, you can do it on your computer, Zoom, record your whole presentation with the PowerPoint and the e-app worked into there. So that's going to get you making money uh, a lot sooner than you ever would. Okay. Making sure the e-app, the PowerPoint, the videos are done and the homework assignments, you guys will be rocking, ready out, right business on your own. Let's make some money. Come on, Adolfo. Game time, baby. Let's do Come it. On. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Game time. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on there, 445. All right. Peace. Thank you. Computer, my dyno that works better than my new one. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, it's okay. This one's been working all the time. So I'm going to stay here for a while. All right. All right, guys. So um, if, if there's, if there's really, so did we have any concerns or questions at all about this part? I know you guys have been going through it. No, I'm no? just not very good at it yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Have you guys been into, uh, were you guys in sales jobs before this? Yes, I was. Awesome, awesome. What did you sell? Um, rainbow vacuum cleaners. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's really, uh, that takes a lot of talent right there because that's not an easy sell. Yeah.